So, welcome back guys to another new Let's Play series about BeamNG Drive, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, this is not going to be like a typical Let's Play series, so we are maybe just going to make a video here and there, but today is actually something interesting. Because as you can maybe see, it's Halloween time. Probably since a while, I don't know since when actually, but for the entire rest of No Not November, there will still be the Halloween event, which I definitely have to make because this gives like an achievement and BMG Drive is one of the games where I have every achievement, so I definitely have to get that one as well. So we have to find 80 things, I have no idea how they are called. And they are like on eight different maps scattered across. I already played the first three here. And then I kind of figured out, hey, this is actually pretty interesting. Because I'm crashing a lot. And maybe you can see by that what the game is all about. So let's start with that map then. I mean, we have still 50 to go, which will probably take me quite some time. I have to see how well I can edit this together. So it's... Still a little bit interesting, and not like two hours long. Alright, so this is like the race kind of kind of thing. Probably there's the first one already hidden away in one of these things. Because there actually was like an event like that already, um, I have no idea how and when this was, but I definitely do remember uh, searching for things. So you have these orange circles on the map which kind of show where the thingies are and you can definitely see them like you. Oh, there's actually the first one. Cool, here we go. Boop. Scarecrow. Alright, scarecrows, that's what they're called. Interesting. Um, yes, yeah, so we still have nine more to go on this map here. This is definitely going to be interesting. So there are more in the area back here. The big question just is obviously, uh, well, where they are. Oh, the next one is already over there. That's not too far away. Yeah, this is also not the optimal car probably. So there has to be another one over here somewhere. I mean, we are going to break a ton of cars today. So if you don't know what BMG... Oh, there, there we are. What the game is about, it's mostly about the pretty realistic physics engine for the cars and stuff. So you can crash yourself pretty nicely. Okay, the next one is down there. The question is how do we... Oh, that seems to be simple. I mean, at least this is somewhat an off-road worthy car, I would suppose. Oh god. These damn trees everywhere. It's the same story as with Factorio all over again. Like, Damn trees are everywhere. Nice. Can we get through here? Looks like we actually can. Alright, so now we're on the actual racetrack. I don't think that too many are actually... Oh, hello. I don't think that too many are actually directly on the racetrack, so... Oh no, we have to definitely get out of here again. Oh god, help. I'm definitely not the, not the best driver here, but here we go. That's the next one right there. So we have already half of every on, the, on this map. Okay, next one should be over there. Now we just have to get back on 
to the map. <clears throat> oh well, we should we could have just like driven across right there, but hey, that also works, I guess. Well, that didn't work. Come on, nice. So that's only four more. Uh, I think they should probably be back here somewhere. Uh oh, ah, that hurt, kind of. Now let's have a look through here. I can already see it. Nice. This is already way easier than all the others before that were. Probably it's like the pressure from recording on me. And then I'm not as dumb as I usually am. Oh, hello. We can probably go through here somewhere. Nice. So that means there are only two more. Oh, up there. Nice. I mean, that's not really hiding. Okay, so last one. I mean, I'm trying not to crash. I mean, it looks cool, but we're going to see enough crashes anyway today, so... Oh yeah, there it is. Simple enough. Let's go into a nice slow-mo crash here. Nice. So that's it with this map. So let's go straight to the next one. Um, so now we are on the industrial side with another car. Which is actually from a mod, so don't expect expect that to see in like the base game. But this is like pretty awful. <laughs> oh Jesus, this is going to be hard. Um, over here should be... Oh, I can already see that. Can we fit through here? Yes, we can. Oh, this didn't... <coughs> that didn't work out at all. Okay, second try. Alright, easy. Okay, I've already seen that there's like also a proper way here, but who needs a proper way when you also have an improper one. And there's already the next one. That was easy enough. Well, we still aren't there yet, so there's still a lot of things that can happen. Nice. Whoa, I totally thought this would like flip over or something like that. Okay, so seven more. Let's uh, have a look up here. Hello. Try for a third time. Third time's a charm. And there we are. Popped another tire. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, well, we didn't only pop a tire. The understeer is real with this thing. Okay, let's look somewhere over here. It's probably inside some of these here. Here we go. Yeah, not too bad at all. So there are actually like a lot of places here where these things could hide. Oh, we just lost our thing. And there we go for the first one over here. Okay. Means only four more to go. This is tight. 
I just thought we were ripping our roof away or something like that. Didn't happen, luckily, though. Okay, maybe back here. I have no. Oh, I can see it. I also don't want to go into the water, but this is looking pretty right to me. Okay. So another one's probably somewhere over here. I mean, we only have three more to go, so. This looks like a jump over here. I mean, we are probably going to fail it, but we have to try. We have to at least try. Oh god, here we go. Well, that wasn't half bad. There, baby. Two more. These damn candles, they just look like... Uh, there's one, and there is actually one. Let's get up here again. Nice. One to go. You bet. I'm just not going to, to even bother with resetting because this is like so close. I can already feel it. I mean, there's also not much of an area where it could be. There we go. Oh god, I don't want to get into the water because that's not good for cars, I heard. There we go. Alright. That's it with that map. So, three more maps to go, I guess. So, here we are on the Jungle Rock Island with our performance-tuned school bus. I don't know if this is like the perfect vehicle for this. Um, I don't actually think so, but let's just try anyways. I mean, we don't see the map in like first person, which is pretty problematic. Maybe we can add that over here. We don't want to hide you. Yeah, we don't want to hide you in cockpit. Also, not this and that and this and now we should see everything all right perfect now we can actually go ahead to tackle this challenge so the jungle rock island is actually fairly big so this could turn out to be fairly problematic there are also some trails here and there so this is definitely going to be interesting with the school bus. Yeah, I'm just going to switch the vehicle really quick. Um, yeah, this is probably also not a perfect vehicle for this, but why not? So the first one has to be somewhere down here. Like, this seems to be easy enough. All right, let's get into here. Okay. And a little little jump and there we go. Let's just back out here again and let's just get us a, a better car. All right, we're also going to turn off the ESC so we can be a bit better. So this actually is a car I'm quite familiar with. Could also be on that like island thing over there. And it actually is on that island thing over there. Let's just go back to here actually because Uh, 
Ah uh, yeah. Driving fast is definitely pretty dangerous here. Oh god. We didn't get it. Come pull yourself up here, little dude. So second one. Uh oh. Ouch. I mean, I wanted to to go down here anyway. Probably the next one is somewhere at the beach. I would suppose. I mean, why should it be at like the the easiest places? That wouldn't make any sense. Maybe in here, and that is actually correct. Got him. So this is only number three on that map. Oh no. This is going to take a while. Okay. I mean, we are not there, obviously, which is kind of drove by which is kind of an issue actually oh no ouch I mean, this is kind of what I was going for, so... Yeah, now we're here, essentially. Alright, so this is where... These two circles led us. I mean, at least there are like two two dudes here somewhere. Should be a uh, pretty simple. I can already like you can hear them. Like you probably can't because even for me, it's super quiet. Like even compared to like the engine noises, it's really quiet and anything but you can definitely hear the presence of these dudes and there's the first one there we are hello dude Jeez. Uh, yeah. Somewhere, probably. Ah, oh, this isn't too hard. Probably depending from which side you're coming, but... Okay, let's get the, the two over here. Yeah, well, um, I never said that I'm a good driver or anything. I mean, imagine a school bus in this scenario. Um, I think it's good that I, that I switched. Oh yeah, this isn't even like shown as a as a path, really. Oh, hello, there we... There we go, for one of them, at least. Yeah, we can actually also go the other direction here. 
Oh no. We should probably have to, and then we hopefully get onto that bridge. Oh dang it. This isn't easy here. I mean, this is super uneven ground. Yeah, let's just drive like real fast here. So there we go. So in that direction was like the or at least another one here. There you can already see that. I would think that the last one is also somewhere over there. Alright, I can already see uh, the last one, which is actually a different one than I wanted to go for, but uh, we kind of have to uh, cross kind of the waters here to get to the other one, so let's do this first. This is not going to be easy, I can already tell. I like the amount of sand around here, but this is the lighthouse. I mean, that has to be like the perfect t t uh, thing for a monster truck here. At least in theory. Maybe it's actually like back here or something. I can see like a little path here. It would be kind of a big fail when we just try and get up there for a couple minutes and then it's just... I freaking knew it. So we finally made it, essentially. Uh, we are now at the uh, final destination after what feels like about 10 hours of solid driving. Probably down at the beach somewhere. There she is, and that's finally it with the jungle rock island thing here. Great, so let's meet at the next map, I would say. So now we are on the jungle, not on the jungle rock island, on the small island, uh, actually. I quite like the, the small island, actually, because it's nice and small. And you nicely can get quickly from A to B. So this thing is actually made for off-roading, so... We should probably do just that. Oh, there's the first one already. And after that, there's like only one more. And then there's already the next dude. How nice. I think this one will actually be a pretty quick one. I'm recording now for almost an hour, so... Yeah. Um, nice. Maybe we can get this done without completely destroying the car, which would be pretty nice. And there's a radio next to This is going so quickly. Yeah, my enthusiasm was probably a bit too much, but this thing still goes. Like, this is... You basically can't destroy this dude. I mean, it looks a little destroyed now, but it's... Still functioning, so that's kind of nice. And we are not really taking good care of this thing, so... And there is number four. Alright, the next one is... Straight ahead somewhere. I think I already saw it. Yeah, there she is. Okay. So we already got half of them in like, not even five minutes. 
Okay, over here. I mean, this isn't a big map at all. I mean, it's literally has small in the name, so... Yeah, that's actually... Driving on a road is just not, not cool enough for me. There is already the next one. This is so great. Yeah, the next one is uh, very likely on the top of the hill here. And I already obviously drove past the... Oh, that was the tire. That's bad. Yeah, just resetting here. Just just one little reset, you know. And here we can actually go up the hill. I mean, from past experience, I can tell this probably isn't on top of this hill. So why am I even doing this? I don't know. Oh, no, this actually looks pretty beautiful. I mean, I didn't completely fall off the hill, at least, so... Well, a uh, second try. There we are. Now let's get down here. Yeah, you shouldn't land on the, on the roof, by the way. Oh, God. The trees here are just, like, so stable. Luckily, they aren't as stable in Factorio, so... At least there's there's something going on. Okay. I suspect it would be somewhere down here. There we are. Hello, beauty. That's the next tire that's deflated. Like, this just needs some better tires, that's for sure. Oh, wow. Like, these branches here, they are not messing around. Oh, come on, this little tree dude here. Yeah, this is uh, what I call living on the edge. That was close. It's also pretty close. Come on. There we go. So only one more. Yeah, when you're spending more time in the air than on the ground, then you're definitely doing something wrong. All right depending on things. I can see the thing. Nice, so let's just go on to the last map. So welcome back to beautiful Utah. The last map for the day actually. And what's the first car you think about when you think about Utah? Well, Definitely a sweet little Formula One car. Yeah, let's actually go first person here. I hope this isn't too loud. It probably is pretty loud, but it's hopefully not too loud. I mean, it looks uh, fairly loud, at least on my loudometer. Uh, yeah.
Well, only like 10. I mean, I can't really see too much. Oh, down there. Oh yeah, this was a terrible idea. Let's actually go back at first person here. Yeah, this is not an off-road car, but it... I mean, it's half decent, I would say, in off-road. You still you just have to be fast enough and then, like, grip is everything, essentially. Yeah, let's just go... Oh, I can already see the next one. Maybe we just should drive a little bit across the country here. Can we go through here? Yes, we actually can. With enough speed you can actually do uh, a lot of things. So there's actually the highway over here. We should probably like take take a full full lap on this. If we can get back up. We should probably go through here somewhere. Oh well. You definitely can't see a whole lot. There should be one here somewhere. Let's actually investigate that first. Uh oh. Yeah, it's probably pretty far off, I would think. So let's go on the highway first. So here we can get onto the highway. Oh well. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Let's try and look over here. Okay. Up there is the thing at least. Well, we are not up there yet, but this uh, can still change. Oh god. Yeah, this is a nice jump, but this is definitely not going to work that way with a, a car like this, because a car like this just sticks to the ground, literally. Oh god. Why am I doing this? That actually worked surprisingly well, to be honest. So there we are in the same car as always. Where's the thing? Come on. There she is. What? We flipped right through that damn thing. And second time's a charm in this case. So, okay, there we go. There are even two up here, just as I envisioned. And a third one even, so this is... And a fourth one, like this over here is like... Pretty good territory. I can already see like the first one. A 
here you have like a pretty nice view. Uh, we made it. it. Was pretty pretty simple actually getting up there stuff. So now you are mine. Let's also actually just uh, drive up here again. It's actually pretty nice here on the roof. All right, let's actually. Get ourselves over here. Yeah, there she is. Simple. Okay. Ouch. So, three to go. Can we just go through the valley? Probably not. Or probably, but it's a bad idea. Oh, well, actually, actually worked pretty well. We just have to get up there now, which is kind of an issue, I would say. I mean, this is all... Oh, hello. Pretty much doable, actually. That's what it is. I mean, we already know what the last one is. Oh, well, like, one of the two last ones now is. So we just should search for the other one first, I would say. Maybe it's also somewhere over here. I also forgot to change the setting in OBS, so I'm now recording onto my... Uh, C drive again and uh, not onto my NAS which means I have no idea uh, how long I will still be able to record until it's full stuff which would be pretty bad if it's full because a full uh, C drive is usually not the best thing in the world taking this heads on was not my smartest idea ever. Let's actually go to the low range box again. I think this should help climb the tree better. The, 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 not the tree, the hill. Stay up here for a second, just to see if we can see something. Nice. I think I can already see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're still in the low range box. No wonder that we are like slow AF. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, we have to get uh, somehow up there again. Now we have to see if there's an actual like off-road path we can take. I mean, I'm not even asking for like any official paths, but this uh, seems to actually work. 
or does it? Yeah, we made it, definitely. I mean, we are kind of out of the map, I think, at this point. Oh yeah, there it is, though. Oh no. Who said it's easy to get down and to get up? I mean, if you can just respawn, then it's definitely still easier. So, here we are. Just snacking it away. Um, that's it, we got the achievement actually. You can't see that, but... Oh yeah, you can't even see when I'm opening the Steam overlay. But what would be interesting for me now is... I mean, first up, I now have literally all the achievements again, all seven. But how the completion rate on the screenshot and this achievement actually is. So that's actually 0.1% of players have this achievement, so that's pretty sweet. Um, I hope I can make something interesting out of these one hour and almost 40 minutes of footage, so... Yeah, probably still a long video. Thank you for watching, see you all at some point again. I mean, this is not going to be like a real series, but let's see at Victoria again, I guess. So, other than, have a great time. See you all then.